In this video, I'm going to explain you what is hard disk, then what are the partitions, what is volume, what is a drive, what's the difference between partition and volume, then how you can use disk park and Windows Disk Manager to uh, do the partitions of the hard disk, and what are the advantages of having partitions on a hard disk. So hard disk is nothing just a hardware component on which we store our data, all the files, directories are stored on the hard disk. So now let us try to understand what is the partition and what is the uh, use of that. So when you buy a hard disk, uh, that hard disk has got some size. Generally it is in the GB. For example, let us say this uh, hard disk is of the 500 GB capacity. So 500 GB data can be saved on this particular hard disk. Now we have got 500 GB hard disk, you can use that 500 GB hard disk without making any partitions like store all your data on the same hard disk without doing any partitions. We can do it, but having partitions, uh, creating partitions on this hard disk is going to give some you uh, some of the advantages to you or some benefits to you. So partitioning is basically what we are going to do is we are going to divide that particular hard disk in logical sections. Let us say we create a partitions like this. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 5 partitions we have made. Now what is the benefit of uh, partitioning the uh, hard disk? What benefits we are getting? So first benefit that we are getting is uh, we can organize the files. We can create primary partitions where we can store the files like C drive, D drive, that kind of drives we can create volumes. Uh, we also call them logical drives. Because uh, without partitioning it is not possible. With, we, without partitioning we have what one hard disk and one logical drive only. So you can just create C drive, we can't create D drive, E drive like that. So with partition we can uh, you know, create different, different volumes of drives. Next uh, thing we can do is we can have multiple operating systems uh, installed uh, with uh, help of partitions. So with partitions as I said we can divide the hard disk into uh, logical sections. So one section we can use for say windows, another section we can use for say Linux. So that is possible only through the partitions. And uh, another thing that you can uh, notice that we can format these partitions with different different file systems like say partition 1 is having say FAT32 then this partition 2 can be uh, formatted with NTFS. This partition 3 can be formatted with other uh, file system that is used by Linux or any other operating system. So that is another advantage that we are getting uh, by having the partitions in disk. Then another advantage we are getting is we, are, we can have a hidden partitions as well. Like we can say I want to hide some data on the hard disk. Only I, I should be able to see that data. So I can hide the partition let us say 4 and 5. I can hide that partitions. So uh, when, when I hide the partition, nobody can see that data in that particular partition. Next thing is uh, we can also have a recovery partitions like uh, if your system has some problems, that particular partition can be used to restore your uh, system and then you know uh, troubleshoot the problems. So these benefits we are getting and that's the uh, reason why we have partitions on hard disk. Now let us see uh, what is this volume drives, what is the difference between these partitions and volumes or drives. So first step uh, to create the drives or volumes is to do the partitions on a hard disk. Now here uh, I said that I have formatted this uh, partition 2 with the NTFS operating system. Then I, I can create you know, a drive or say volume for that partition number 2. Let us say 100 GB of partition I have done. So I can have a C drive on that, then uh, this uh, partition 3 week I can have like uh, another drive with say 200 GB where I can store other information or other files. So that is the main difference between partitions and volumes. Volumes and drives are like uh, the drives that we generally use in operating system like Windows 10 especially like C drive, D drive that is called as volumes or drives. It, these drives have what uh, labels associated with them. Then uh, next thing uh, that I'm going to talk about is disk part and Windows Disk Manager. So these things we can use to you know create the partitions. Like we uh, all know the advantages of the partitions. So how to do the partitions? So, and that's where these uh, things come into picture. You can use Windows Disk Manager to create the partitions. You can merge partitions. You can uh, create uh, split partitions. All these things are possible using Windows Utility. That is GUI software that comes built in with the Windows. But there are also open source softwares which you can use. Another utility that comes, uh, this is a command line utility. Earlier they used to call it F disk, but now it is called as disk part. So disk part is also uh, one utility where you can use, you know, create different partitions, then format those partitions, 
create uh, volumes, drives, all these things uh, can be done using this part. I created a separate video on this uh, this part. Uh, you can check that out where you, I have all the commands that you can run to you know create partitions then create uh, drives and all the things I hope uh, this has cleared your all the, your doubts now um, I'm gonna uh, talk about virtual disk what is a virtual disk as I said hard disk is a physical device but um, uh, we can also uh, you know uh, the, let us say we have got this 500 GB hard disk what we can do is we can create virtual disk within this particular hard disk so this can be considered as hard disk 1 this can be considered as hard disk 2 remember that that is virtual, virtual uh, hard disk why it is called virtual hard disk is because physically it is just one hard disk but it, it can be used as a multiple or uh, two virtual hard disk then again as i said hard disk can have uh, partitions similar to this hard disk 1 can have partitions and that has nothing to do with the partitions that are happen in this uh, virtual hard disk 2 benefit of creating the virtual hard disk is like you know uh, uh, that is used in the oracle virtual box where you can uh, install different different operating systems uh, without uh, actually installing it uh, in the boot boot menu the oracle virtual box uses this uh, virtual hard disk to install the operating systems i hope i have cleared all, all most of the doubts if you have more questions related to this let me know through the comments thanks for watching this video